na navigating uh, between the uh, between these two, right? Between login and signing and whatnot. Uh, by clicking on the hyperlink. Uh, so th these uh, types of navigation are unconditional navigations, right? Uh, you want to you you navigate no matter what. You click on that, there's no validation. Uh, anybody who clicks on that link just basically just navigates to that page, yes? Uh, but oftentimes you need to programmatically decide on whether you are allowed to go there or not, right? Perhaps if I click on login on this hyperlink, on this uh, login over here, uh, I want to kick off some uh, some logic, yes? And based on that logic, I might decide that I would let you navigate or not. Right? So for instance, if I have a, a profile page, uh, if I click on the login, I need to first check to see if the username and password are correct. If the username and password are correct, then you can navigate to the profile page. Make sense? Right? Uh, so let's do that. Let's, uh, let's uh, first create a, a profile page right, that we can navigate to. So let's do uh, ng generate and create a, um, a profile page. There it is. Uh, first of all, let's uh, make sure that we can navigate there. So let's uh, add it to the route. So let's add here a new one. So this will be, uh, if I say profile, then I'm gonna navigate to the profile component. There we go. And let's uh, just to verify that that, uh, that component, we can navigate to it. I'm gonna add a hyperlink here. And this will be a profile. And this allows it to navigate to the profile, right? And the profile probably is uh, not very interesting, right? If we click on profile, notice that it just navigates to profile works, right? Not very interesting. Uh, so uh, we might what we might want to do. Uh, first of all, I can't stand the um, the content being flush, uh, so I'm just going to add a container here. Oops. Uh, container, container, fluid. All right, that looks marginally better. Um, so, so in the, the profile might probably look very similar to our login, right? So let me let me copy maybe the content here, and let's uh, head over to the profile. Where's the profile? And let's paste that in there just to make it just uh, marginally better. So we have login. So this will be profile. And in our, in our profile, I can update my username, I can update my password. Uh, maybe I can have other, other co couple things in there. Uh, maybe I have um, you know, date of birth. And if this is a date. Um, I have a couple other things in there. Maybe I have an email in my profile. So it's, this is type email. And in the button, I might have uh, update profile, okay? And uh, if I log out, if I log out, maybe it navigates to uh, back to the login page if I log out, okay? All right, so let's see if that works. If I click on profile, there it is. If I'm in courses, if I click on profile, there it is, my, my username, my password, my, uh, my date of birth, my email, or if I, uh, oops, uh, log out, wait a minute, update profile, <laughs> refresh. There it is. If I click on um, on logout, it navigates back to my login. Yes. All right. Uh, so okay. So let's see how we can programmatically, as opposed to um, using a hyperlink, right? Obviously, I, I should not be able to just navigate to the profile, right? If I haven't logged in. Uh, ideally, you know, I'm on my login. If I click on, on login, and if if it's a valid login, it navigates programmatically to my profile. Or same thing with register. If I successfully register and my username is not taken. And then it programmatically navigates to the profile. So let's see how we can do that next.